My name is Karima Agbib and I'm the new Lara Croft model for 2006. I'm promoting the game Tomb Raider Legend, which is out on April 11th, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm here in the States on my first tour um, to sort of, you know, get to meet everyone and let them know who I am, because I'll be back in April. The first game came out 10 years ago, so I was 10 years old. And um, I had the first Tomb Raider and the second Tomb Raider, and I played it with my sister and we absolutely loved it. And then when the movies came out, um, when Angelina played the part, you know, we, were, we, we all love Angelina, me and my sister, so um, that was great. And just, you know, I've, I've known Lara forever, and now I am her. To begin with, she's so smart. She's very, she's a very sexy woman. She's got a great body, she's got great weapons. You know, she's just, she's rugged, she's sassy, um, she speaks, so, lots of languages. She's just, she's just a package. You know, men love her. Women want to be her. She's got everything. It's fantastic. It's just come such a long way. I mean, considering that I played the first two um, Tomb Raiders, I just can't believe how advanced you know games and Lara has come. She's so realistic now. You know, um, the game is completely seamless. So you know, you can turn her 360. Absolutely, go anywhere. She looks everywhere. Um, her eyes are moving and you know she'll go into like do her little stretches if you stop using the control pad um, you know she's jumping you know fluidly she's just it's just so realistic you know she gets wet when when she goes in the water she sweats um, little things like wind butterflies it's just it's incredible you can now you know play the game and really just get into it and also another thing um, this little earpiece here is um, where Lara can talk to her tech team back at Croft Manor. So throughout the game, she's actually speaking to you and, well, not speaking to you, but she's talking back, you know, with her, her pals at Croft Manor. And you just see a lot more personality come through. Um, so throughout the game, she's talking and it's just, you, you get to meet Lara for the first time, I think, really. You get to, you know, really see behind the scenes of who she is. I really, personally, I love Lara. And I think, you know, she's just got everything. There's nothing wrong with her. She's perfect. So to be asked to play someone who's just so strong and heroic and intelligent and beautiful and sassy, rugged, sexy, God, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. I was modeling back in London and um, IDOS were holding a casting for the new Lara. And I know that they, um, they did an international search for about a thousand girls, uh, with about a thousand girls. And um, my agency put me out for it. So I, I went to the casting, I didn't know what to expect really, I knew it had something to do with the, Lara Croft um, and I got a call back for another audition. On the second round I had to um, get into the, the Lara Croft outfit, you know, pull out the guns, do some sequence movements, um, basically off the top of my head because you know I'd, I'd played the game so I knew about it and um, it was great because once I put on the outfit I just, I just went into Lara mode, it was fantastic. And um, luckily got another call back where I had to meet with the bosses of IDOS and they kind of just you know, threw some questions at me to see how, how like Lara I could possibly be. Um, and I'm here today. Well, um, the unveiling was last week um, for Lara's birthday, which was her February the 14th. Um, so I've, I've had to do a lot of training. I, I mean, I knew about that I'd gotten this role about two months or three months before that. So I've had to do a lot of grueling training, um, which includes um, SAS training, combat training. I haven't actually done my firearm course. I'm going to do that as soon as I get back off of this mini tour. Um, uh, elocution, deportment. Um, so m I'm getting a motorcycle license. So I'm, I'm really becoming the package. So up until now, it's sort of been, you know, getting everything ready, sort of just getting into character. And um, this is my first tour, so it's the first time really I'm, I'm now putting on the outfit and doing the job. I did think it was going to be put the outfit on, go out and just sort of pretend to be Lara. But it hasn't been because I've had to do all the training, which has been really fantastic because it, it's actually made me feel like I am Lara. When I put this outfit on, you know, I know my stance. I, and it's just given me a lot more, you know, uh. So I, I, absolutely not. It's put on the outfit, I am her. And I, I just... I feel 100%.